there was a seed fund of 5.5 million, yes. billion, yes, billion yes. pesos that was set aside for that purpose. And this group was supposed to manage the trust fund, uh -huh. uh, the DND, yeah, yeah. chairing it, and then COA, uh -huh. BOF, and some, yeah, I yeah. think, one other uh, institution. Uh, but it took time such that by 1998, uh, one month before he turned the reins over to President Estrada, mm -hmm. he called for a meeting uh -huh. uh, in, uh, in AFP General Headquarters yes. where they gave him a briefing. Uh -huh. And all the generals were there. Vice, in fact, incoming Vice President Gloria Arroyo was, was there. there. Yes. And uh, so they said, okay, so the, we have the AFP Modernization mm -hmm. Act. Mm -hmm. The money is here. Yes. Right? Uh, we haven't touched it yes. because, uh, you know, Secretary Abbott said that uh, the organization that's supposed to handle the yeah. money is not yet uh, formed. Uh, and so there was that. It was, there was a formal yeah. uh, briefing and, well, turnover, right? Yes. Uh, and it was only in the year 2000 that uh, the money of 5.5 .5 billion was released mm -hmm. uh, through uh, three different Saros, no? Uh -huh. S A R O. Uh, uh -huh. By uh, DBM Secretary Jokno. Yes. And I suppose, Jokno. I suppose to Orly Mercado. Yes. No? Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, at that time, uh -huh. that money was used for the war against the MILF. Yes, yes. No? So the, it was diverted. Diverted, yes. Yeah, from AFP modernization to, to the, the war in Mindanao. Uh, MILF, yes. Yeah. But I don't know, for some reason, uh, the propagandists uh, at that time. Uh, managed to create uh, the story that uh, uh, the 5.5 billion seed money uh -huh. was used up by the Ramos administration. Okay. Yeah, notwithstanding the the records, no? the historical record. But Mr. Secretary, uh, no, look, looking back now from, let's say, at the time of FVR, uh, President uh, Era, Gloria onwards, all the claimant countries around that region have de developed their own claimed yes. territories, yes. no runway or whatever, no camps, etc. Under all these presidencies, how come we seem to be timid to to try to build anything in, in, the, in these territories which are supposed to be ours? Be yes. And 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 what I get, the answer that I get is always it will look provocative, according to the Department of Foreign Affairs. That's what I hear. No, I mean, so. Are we sending what the wrong signals to, to China? After, I mean, under four presidents. Eric, I cannot divine what, <laughs> what three I governments know. I know, uh, have, uh, have or haven't done. Yeah, or but, what but, motivated uh, but as them. a citizen, I mean, but, you know, yeah, correct. As a, yeah. as a citizen, yeah. um, I'm, I'm, I'm very frustrated as yeah, a citizen. There is no development going. I mean, our soldiers are there. They're still in the same camp. Nothing's happening in that place. I'm very frustrated because as somebody who once wore the uniform, mm -hmm. uh, I feel very vulnerable in the battlefield. Correct. Okay. Uh, I don't feel I have the proper support yes. to keep me alive yes. and to help me win victories. Yes. Okay. That's very important for a soldier. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, second, as a citizen, I don't like be, uh, f feeling like a doormat. Yes. Right. But that's how all these countries make yes. the country. Yes. Uh, feel yeah. and, and as a citizen of this country I feel like a doormat yes and I don't like that yes right number three notwithstanding that this has been going on for the longest time yes uh, well I'm glad that the president president Aquino today yes has continued where president Ramos left off uh -huh. uh, I mentioned to you earlier about the AFP modernization yes Act. yes well that expired the first one expired but this president extended it yes. by another 15 years yes. and seeded 75 billion, yes. all right, which is good. Yes, right? yes. But if we're going to really modernize and professionalize yes. so that we could, A, protect our resources in the EZ, yes. B, uh, defend our territory, yes. and C, uphold national dignity and honor, yes, yes. which is what we haven't been feeling for the longest yes, time, yes. Uh, I think 75 billion is puny. Yes. It's probably just a... Uh, what you call this, a... Uh, drop in the bucket. Not just drop in the bucket, it's just a... Uh, okay, for the... 
I'm thinking of a, uh, of a phrase, but yeah. I, 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 it's, yeah, it's just a, it's a drop in, uh, parang ano lang yan, uh, hulugan lang. Hulugan no? lang, yes. Yung, the first, what you call first that? First tranche. The first tranche. Uh -oh. uh, because I feel, my own personal estimate, uh -oh. if we were to build a strong navy, because okay. that's where the problem is, yes, no? Yes. Or maritime, yeah. uh, it's a maritime issue. Yeah. A strong navy and a strong air force to support the yeah. navy. Uh, and uh, a ground force that can provide uh, able support for the Navy from the shore, yes. from the shoreline. Uh, my personal estimate, given my understanding of current costs yeah. and uh, how much it would, uh, how long it would take yes. uh, to procure, train, yeah, yeah. and then put everything in place so that we're combat ready, yeah. I'd say it will take 10 years and probably in, uh, around. Um, uh, 20 billion dollars but for immediate no. purposes just to, to make the statement so of the 20 billion dollars uh, which needs to be committed okay no, uh, a number of our equipment needs to be front-loaded okay okay uh, because the, the the need is immediate okay uh, people say aren't you foolish you can fight China no we're not gonna fight China okay all right but you have to look at the geopolitical situation you know, uh, a coalition is being stitched yes. to push back China. Uh -huh. And one of the things it understands is force, yes. is might, yes. right? Well, that's, that's the way they think. A bully will only respect you if you're ready to even to, to, to fight, no? even if you're going to get beaten, but you're going to make a stand. Correct. Uh, and if we're going to be part of a coalition, uh, we can't be the weak link in that coalition, yes, 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 right? Uh, so we have to f firm up uh, uh, our um, capability. Yeah to defend that portion of, uh, of the chain okay. no, uh, assigned to us. Yeah. Right? But we're not doing that. We need, I think, if you were to, uh, if, if I were to give advice, yeah. my advice to the government is uh, hurry up, speed it up, uh -huh. uh, put the right people to think things through, make a proper needs assessment, yeah. make a proper, uh, uh, do a proper budgeting yeah. uh, for what you need yeah. and get the experts to, financial experts to think out how to fund it. Yeah. You know, think outside the box. But, but immediately, for purposes that will have an impact right away, shouldn't we right away build our, you know, these this camps right there in, uh, you know, in, in, in Freedom Islands, in Spratlys, and then our poor little uh, LSTs? <laughs> I mean, should it be that that should be the immediate uh, your concern right away because that makes a statement right away. You, you're correct, Eric. I th uh, there has been a lot of suggestions along those lines. Like for example, in the case of Ayungin. Yes. Uh, even if we have a rusty bucket there. Yes. All right. Uh, and a small garrison. Yes. The Chinese are very careful. Yes. Because the moment they hit that ship. Yes. Uh, the mutual defense treaty kicks in. Right? So they're careful about uh, creating an and, incident. And poor soldiers, you know, yeah. do you know that there are rats that are very big? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, when it gets very hot, yeah. our soldiers are down there yeah. and, and their feet are wet. Yeah. We have, and we have a lot of uh, uh, ships that are mothballed. No? Yes. Uh, and we can actually tow them. And we can beach them again <laughs> <laughs> if need be. Beach them again, correct, yeah. correct. And then uh, arm them, no? Uh, and, and in the other areas, sure. we can build, you know, we can refurbish these camps. Correct. I, I don't know why, why aren't we doing it. <laughs> well, uh, it, it, it sets the wrong statement. And, you know, under three or four administrations, if you're China and you're looking at the way things are happening, you know, we, we take one step, we, move, we take two steps backwards, we take three steps forward, we take two steps backwards, and then you realize, hey, we're making progress. These people are not going to do anything. The one thing I think that the government needs to do is to draw the line in the sand. Exactly. Right? Uh, because China has been uh, quite aggressive and intransigent about its position, we have to draw the sand, uh, line in the sand. And we have to tell our people, look, nobody else will defend the country except ourselves. Correct. Right? We may be weak, yeah. but we have to stand up for what is right. Correct. And, and for our inang bayan. Yes, right? yes. Uh, now, if our friends and allies uh, will help us, yeah. Well, that, consider it a bonus. Yeah, yeah. But the effort must come from us. And if they don't see us uh, standing up and doing something about it, they're not going to help us. Mm -hmm. You know, what for? Mr. Secretary, we're going to pause for a few reminders. But, but when we come back, I'll, I'll leave you with two questions. Did, you, the, did the Chinese become more brazen, especially when the Americans left us? That's one. 
And then number two, maybe is, are the Chinese studying us like what happened, for example, in Sabah? I mean, we're also very luxidal about it. So oh, I think these people can be pushed uh, and uh, we, we, we can eventually get what we want because I think these are a very patient people. Mm -hmm. <laughs>